Hi, this is Sherry. I'm coming at you from Canyon Lake in the water. <laughs> I didn't get enough uh, time to get down here today and by the time I finish doing my reading, it's gonna be too late for me to get into the water and play, so I'm in here now with us. I mean, with you. So you're playing in the water with me. Um, I just got cut off when I tried to do my first reading, so I'm, I don't know if I should continue going as deep as I went the first time. But it was the spider that spoke to us today um, for our, uh, being an animal totem. And what she was saying was, have you given up on your dreams? Have you used your creativity? Because the spider is all about creativity, stimulating your sacral chakra. And funny, my sacral chakra was spinning this afternoon. And I was talking about uh, something about in my life that I wanted to figure a way out. And what's interesting is Spider Totem says, have you used your creativity to come to an alternate route around the situation that you're in? Have you created alternatives to what you, to the place that you're at right now? Because you are the one who creates your future. You are not a victim. You are a powerful spirit being in a human body. And yes, we have challenges, but we create our future by the things that we say, by the things that we do. Um, I had a woman come to look at my uh, suite Upstairs, she was wanting to rent it, and uh, she asked what I did, and we ended up doing a reading, and she was asking me about certain things and talking about things that she wanted, and she said that she does pray, and she says, but he never answers me. He's not going to answer me. He never does. And um, I would like to do this, but it, it's never going to happen, and I would like to have this, but I know that will never happen because I'm just not capable of that. And I said, wow, wow. I said, do you know that every single thing that you just put out to the universe as a, as a request, you took back? And you not only took it back, but you absolutely severely nailed it shut in a box and put it underneath the house because, because of what you were saying. And I said, if you're going to say he's not going to answer me in the way that I understand him, you're not going to understand. If you're saying, I will never be able to do this, then you will never be able to do this. You are choosing to be a victim. I said, you're not a victim. You know, you, you, she goes, oh, are you going to start telling me that positive affirmations are the way to go? And I said, absolutely. Absolutely. You keep telling yourself, all is well, all is well, all is well. I know everything is happening as it's meant to. I know that even if I don't see a, an, a, a, a way out of this dilemma right now, something's going to come to me. I'm just going to relax and I'm going to surrender it to spirit. And I trust that you're going to bring me an answer. That's what you do. And I said, and you hand it over. I said, when you don't feel like you can do it, hand it over to spirit. But don't say, I don't think I'm going to get an answer. I don't think this is going to work. You just say, at this point, I'm not able to figure my way out of this. So I'm handing it over to you so that you can bring me the answer and show me what it is that I need to do. The, 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 you look at the spider and, and the symbol of the spider, the body is like the, the, the figure eight, the eternity symbol. So it's talking about the past being connected to the future. So there are lessons that you should have learned from your past. And if you're in a situation in your life and you don't understand it and you're not quite sure why you got there, how did you get there? What is going on in my life that I keep creating the same situation that I'm spinning back around? But it also can be in a positive way, the past being connected to the future. Very much so. Because what we do in the past takes us forward to where we are in our future. And the lessons that we've learned have provided clues and uh, experiences and a wealth of knowledge so that we're able to move forward with our plans based on the things that we have learned from the past. Um, also, when I got into my canoe, the reason I said it was spider, because when I got into my canoe, there was a spider web that was across the corner of, of the canoe. And it was an old one, of course, because it was woven last night. The spiders weave, weave a new web every morning. They weave one at night, and then in the next morning, they usually tear it apart or they'll abandon it and go to a next one which is telling you that you don't you've got to keep trying you've got to keep creating keep moving forward um you don't just do one thing and then expect everything to come to it you have to just continue to find different alternative ways right all right so that's the message from spider i'm going to go back and get our uh oh lord okay i just want to make sure we weren't cutting out um the deck that we're going to be using today is by tony carmine salerno oh is it yes it is <laughs> The Gaia Oracle. Can you guys see that? And I'm going to, let's see, how shall I do this? How shall I do this so that you guys can see properly? That way, that's pretty bright. So the first message, the message, positive news, positive outcome. So what they're talking about is there's, a, there's something that we've been waiting anxiously for. And soon we're gonna be receiving very good news. The, the dove represents harmony, peace, happiness, love, fulfillment. And this news that, we, that, we, that we're going to be receiving, it may come from somewhere far away or it may come from somebody close, some close to us. Um, but whatever it is, it's something that, that's of major importance to us, something that we've been very much concerned about. 
and we're going to be finding out that all is well and we can rest in the knowledge that all is well. Um, it's a relief to us because we have possibly gotten, our monkey mind's gotten out of control perhaps and we've been very, very concerned about something. And we want to know that no matter what's going on, remember, no matter how it might feel to us, no matter how it might even look to us at times, everything is happening the way it's meant to happen. Sometimes when we watch our loved ones go through a difficult time, it's very, very hard for us because we want it to stop and we want to be able to stop it. I have a lot of um, gifts that I can use and I keep feeling like I should be able to do something to intervene to help the one that I love that's going through this difficult time, but it's his path right and it, it, everybody we each all have our own paths and so even when it looks like it's scary and even when it looks sad it has to happen the way it happens and and spirit has always got control over it so that's our first message that was a quick one um, the next message that we have I'm gonna take these in um, I think I'll just take them in the order that they showed up this next one the search you see this girl and she doesn't look very see her she doesn't look very happy blue eyes She's got vines around her. She's dark in the front of her. She's looking ahead. She's naked, which means she's vulnerable, exposed. But there's light behind her. So at this time, what, might, what they're saying is you might be feeling lost. You might be feeling sad. You might be going through a difficult emotional time. Maybe you're having challenges at work. Maybe you're having emotional issues. Maybe you've not been well. Maybe something that you have been waiting for hasn't come about. Maybe there's some other person in your life that you're, that you're worried about, you're concerned about. Whatever it is, there's something that has been leaving you feeling lost. It feels like maybe things have come to a halt. Maybe something that you've been striving for all of a sudden kind of just slows to a grind and you're thinking, what's going on? Is it better that way? <laughs> I can't even see you guys. I don't even know what's happening in the, in the phone. I can't see anything. Um, and what, I gotta show you this, because when you look, it looks like she's looking into the winter, right? She's kind of going through a winter. Even though we're, this is the end of summer here, it's not really the end of summer, but it's ripe summer. This is like the winter of someone's life. It's kind of like the dark night of the soul. But what she doesn't recognize is behind her, they've, she's got bright light coming behind her. So she's moving from, because think about the seasons. Summer always follows spring. How does it go? <laughs> How does it go? Winter, spring always follows winter. Um, summer always follows spring, fall, blah, blah, blah. It all goes in order, right? So if she's in a winter of her life right now, she can rest assured that she's going to be coming to spring. And that's what the sprouts are, the new growth. There's new growth happening. And that's actually growing around her. The new growth, she's growing, and it's actually a part of her. So she's creating, she's in a creation with it. So she, she's oblivious. So she's caught in this place of sadness. And that's why she's feeling lonely. And that's why she's feeling maybe rejected or abandoned, like that woman that I spoke to yesterday. Um, lost her way, perhaps searching for answers that don't seem to come. And that's when we have to, again, remember, release it to spirit and understand that they are going to help us, that they will bring us the answers at the appropriate time. Um, and, you know, you, like what was the, with the um, spider said, are you, are you allowing your dreams to die? Are you following your dreams? You know, are you feeling as though your, your inspirations will, you know, will they ever come back? Will, the, my, will my lust for life and my, my excitement and my happiness, will that return? Am I going to be, is this just going to go on? It feels like this has been going on forever. And they're saying, yes, it will. It will absolutely, without a doubt. The first rays are actually shining through, as we saw, and there is new growth. And they're saying a new cycle is coming. It could be new ideas, new inspirations. There could be new love in your life, but there's new growth coming into your life. So that's that message. Let you guys look around. And here, are, these all are really cool because they all go together. Check it out. Winter's end. Regeneration, rebirth, positive outcome. Goes with the first one, positive outcome, to a situation that you were worried about. And here, the winter's end, right? Regeneration, growth. Here we see these little white blossoms that are growing out of a very stark, it's just, there's no flowers on the branch. Interesting. There's, I mean, not flowers. There's no leaves on this branch, but there's little flowers coming. And she looks very, very sad. She's completely naked and vulnerable. And she's looking off to the side. She's kind of holding her arms close to herself, like she's cradling herself, trying to comfort herself. That's how she's feeling. So maybe somebody right now, as you're listening to this, is curled up in a, on the couch in a ball with a blanket, trying to comfort yourself or find some comfort. Ask for spirit to comfort you. Ask for spirit to, to take it from you and, and focus your mind and help, help focus your mind on, on something positive. Something, look anything, look outside, find something beautiful. If you have to be in a blanket curled up, go sit on the porch and let, take a breath. Let nature come and heal you. So what it's saying in this, this message is about regeneration, rebirth, new growth, right? And again, she doesn't look like she realizes that it's happening. She's oblivious to the, flaw, the blossoms that are there. 
but they are starting to show, just like in the first lights coming from the other card. There's a lot of beautiful blessings that are in store for her. And when the blessings come, they want you to embrace them. They don't want you to hesitate. My twin soul once said to me, and when it comes, don't push it away. Embrace what your soul is longing for. It, the wonderful words. I, I, he comes up with such amazing things. So this is a time to not hesitate. This is a time to shine. This is a time of a prosperous things coming to you. This is, this is absolutely positive energy. This reading, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is amazing. This is amazing reading. I needed to see this today myself. Many doors that were previously shut are now opening or they are about to open. It also talks about travel significant travel so it's not just going you know somewhere in town you're gonna to be going somewhere and you're gonna be traveling with a positive outcome so you always want to say that you're you're very very grateful to spirit for for all of these things coming give thanks every day for anything that comes and all that is possible say say all is possible for me now all doors are open to me now I invite prosperity into my life I wel welcome whatever it is that you want to bring to me all the blessings that you want to bring into my life I'm grateful for them bring them to me now okay so that's that message. The next message that we have is, this appropriate for being outside, Sacred Mother, Sacred Earth Mother, a message of love. Giant heart chakra, surrounded by green, which is the color of the heart chakra. The number 42, four angels all around you, everywhere. You are completely guided, protected, and loved. There is no reason for fear. Two, everything is happening exactly as it is meant to. With divine blessings for everyone involved, let go and have faith. So those are the messages that come from just the number on the card. So now it's talking about nourishing your heart chakra, opening up your heart chakra. You know, it talks about how we travel along in life. And, you know, like I said, sometimes some people have had really difficult times. And it's like we go through all of these.